what is up aries leo sagittarius this is gonna be a quick mini love reading for you guys from now until may 1st 2019 this certainly can pertain to family friends any type of energetic situations around you this is gonna be for aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising venus and jupiter Everything you need to know will be in the description box below for you guys. And full in-depth readings are out for you guys right now, I believe. I forget when they end, but if you want to watch your full video, I will put the links in the description box below for y'all. So this is very interesting, okay? Cards are pulled, but we are going to pull from another deck to get clarification. And then we're going to pull from the after tarot. And y'all know how I work with the after tarot. I always believe that they can manifest, you know, way ahead of time. Some of you guys may have already gone through this. It just all depends. We're all on different energetic levels, steps, and, and journeys in our spirituality. So this may or may not resonate, okay? If it's not resonating with your sun sign, definitely feel free to check the other signs. Uh, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's start the, with the overall energy for you guys. Um, very interesting. So, some of you may have taken someone back here, okay? Taken someone back or very confused and conflicted about it, okay? Some of you may have or maybe you will. Or someone has taken someone back here after a period of kind of isolating themselves, um, after a relationship has ended here or a relationship, you know, I'm getting two different things. Okay. Two different things that you guys may be going through. Okay. Taking back a partner from the past, either you or whoever you're dealing with. It's almost like, why did I take this person back? Like this person has hurt me. This person has done me wrong. Um, there may have been some cheating for y'all. Um, for some of you, there could have been a third party involved. Okay. Some not. If there wasn't, um, you know, the relationship could have just ended due to toxicity or, you know, negativity or fighting. You know what I mean? Anything. But someone has come to a realization, okay? Someone's made a decision here, guys. You all have this is major air energy for all of you guys. This is insane. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and this is all logical, all air, all thinking, all knowing, all like overall energy is I am not putting up with any bullshit whatsoever. I want the truth. I have been hurt. Um, I am not really open with my heart. Um, I know what has happened in the past, and I'm not going to let that happen again. Um, very, very strong energy here, either you or your partner. This definitely is a person, or this is, you know, the energy right now where there is no bullshit being taken. There is this, you know, wanting the truth, okay? Wanting the truth, thinking, needing to think someone needing to think with their head, you know, rather than their heart here, you know, because we have the two of swords. This is all about balancing, balancing your logic with your heart, okay? Balancing your mind with emotions, balancing your thinking patterns with emotions, you know what I mean? So seeing that clear, seeing that clearly here, needing to be logical, needing to be logical for sure and somebody needing to make a head over heart decision maybe some have our have already done this made a decision boom like okay i'll get to it i'll get to aries first so but there's major confusion emotionally okay or there was about taking someone back here or regarding finances okay so let's get to it Let's get to it, y'all. And you guys kind of, so you may be feeling, these all intertwine. They all connect, okay? And I've done all of these differently. So 
there may be, you know, someone who's turning their back now, somebody, you know, the other person, whoever that other person may be, okay, somebody may be turning their back or end up turning their back, like, what the hell, this relationship is going nowhere, this relationship is draining me of money, um, this person is a player, this person is aggressive, this person may be even abusive, um, or I just don't want to commit, um, this isn't going anywhere, um, you know, the universe isn't moving in my favor or my direction, and I feel stuck. I don't know what to do. I need, you know, some type of epiphany or some type of sign or I need to discover something here, okay? So some of you may end up feeling stuck, not knowing what to do, but don't worry. We will definitely clarify those cards, okay? So let's see. Let's clarify the overall energy for Aries. Okay. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles, okay? So somebody definitely may be playing games for sure, okay? Or somebody has a decision to make between two different people. Um, this could also be someone that's not putting up with any bullshit um, financially as well. Or just wanting the truth here. Wanting the truth, yeah, about some type of relationship that may have ended, Okay? Yeah, there's a heartbreak here. Heartbreak, pain. So we've got Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, see, someone's, someone's playing games. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a player or someone that just doesn't want to commit. And, you know, it's just fate. It's destiny. That's the way it is here. Um, for some of you, for financial matters, this definitely could be someone that is messing around financially and, you know, taking credit for other people's work, but it's not getting them anywhere. Okay? It's leaving them stuck. But, relationship-wise, you know, this definitely could be a relationship that ended due to heavy arguing or conflicts. Or a relationship that ended due to a third party. Someone can't make up their damn mind. Alright. So let's start with Aries. The timestamps will be in the description box below. But as I said in the other videos, these are all connected. They're definitely worth wa watching. Because you could even do this, you know, say you're a Leo. Okay? Even though we start with Aries, this could be your past. This could be your present. This could be your future. You see what I'm saying? Even with Sagittarius, past, present, future. Aries, past, present, future, overall energy, you see? So it can go either way. But if you guys don't want to watch the other signs, definitely feel free to skip skip forward. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations. I love you all so much. And your emails. You guys are so much very appreciated. I love you all. So let's get started with Aries. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, hardcore up in this biatch. Okay, excuse my language. Um, someone's had it. Or someone will have had it, Aries. Someone's like, I don't want to deal with this conflict anymore. For some of you, Aries, you know, someone came back and wanted an apology or delivered an apology. But somebody's like... I've been hurt too many times, like, I need to make a head over heart decision, I am not putting up with bullshit anymore, you know, I don't want to play these games anymore, I'm sick and tired of it. There's a lot of conflict here, Aries, um, there's a lot of pettiness, there's a lot of drama, um, there's a lot of, there may be, have been, there may have even been a defeat where someone just didn't want to accept a relationship or a love offer here, and now someone is walking away. Okay? Someone's had it with the conflict Aries. Somebody's done. Somebody's done playing games. They just want truth. They want honesty. They want clarity. They're done being hurt. They don't want to deal with it. Okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, and I did see Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but does it doesn't have to be. So let's clarify for Aries. We're going to do the Haunted Tarot of the Haunted House, and then we will do the After Tarot for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. 
This could be someone in your energetic field as well. This could even be someone telling you, you know, you need to give up. Okay, you need to give up and you need to walk away. Or this could be someone telling your partner this. You need to give up, you need to walk away, you know, you deserve better, this is bullshit. Like, or you need to make the decision, you know. Maybe someone's too stubborn, Aries, and doesn't want to um, give an apology. Okay, or somebody's just done, just doesn't want the conflict, like, mm. And if someone did take someone back, it's kind of like, what the fuck? Like, I just, you don't, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm walking away from the drama, I'm walking away from the conflict. If this is a lot of conflict and arguing and pettiness and mind games and manipulation and control it's like somebody's just not not into it one person could be you know all up in somebody's face and the other person's like nope not dealing with it i'm ignoring you okay so let's clarify aries sun moon rising venus and jupiter from now until may 1st why is the Five of Swords reversed? Actually, let's, yeah, let's see. Why is the Five? Okay. Four of Pentacles. Look at that. Someone's definitely holding on. Someone's definitely holding on to someone here. Or money, or their feelings. Or some type of conflict or drama or pettiness or mind games, manipulation. Someone's definitely holding on here. It's time to, you know, take no shit. Take no bullshit. Head over heart decisions here. like someone's refusing defeat Aries somebody does not want to be defeated like somebody does not want to walk away they want to hold on they want to hold on and they're too much in you know they're too much in their head they're too much in the past you know it may be a lot about money as well like clinging to money or clinging to you for stability or vice versa okay yeah look at that Eight of Cups reverse. Someone cannot walk away from someone here. Someone may have come back and given an apology, like I said. But I think someone needs to... Let's see. And someone may be like, you know, the games. You know, I'm not taking the games anymore. If someone did come back to someone, I'm not dealing with the bullshit anymore. I'm not dealing with the games. Why is the Queen of Swords the overall energy for Aries from now until May 1st in love, Spirit? 2019. Wow, the Justice card. Wow. Oh, wow. Someone's trying to make a decision, and that's for damn sure. Someone is trying to balance things out, make a head over heart decision, make a fair, honest, fair decision for everyone involved. Everyone involved in this situation. Um, somebody's just not sure, they're examining it, but not offering an apology here, or not offering their love, or not offering their emotion. Aries, if this is a court case or a legal case, it looks like somebody's pausing, not too sure. Someone's not sure if they want to offer their love here, if they want to offer emotions. This may be even a false love offer, Aries. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Damn. Yeah. And it's all about taking someone back, the judgment card. Or it's all about saying something that needs to be said. Making a huge, you know, judgment call here about the past. Um, yeah, we've got the Queen of Wands reversed.
Damn. I'm seeing Aries Leo Sag as well. If this is like a court thing, like somebody's reevaluating something. This is insane. But this is a huge head over heart decision that somebody needs to make, Aries. And someone's really worried about it. I feel like somebody's too in their emotions. Too clingy. Cannot walk away. Alright, so let's see. After tarot for Aries. From now until May 1st. Yeah, someone may be thinking about bringing someone to court. Long and hard. Wow. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords reverse. Incredible. So there is no truth here. There is no clarity. There is no victory. Someone's not telling the truth with this love offer here. Or what they're thinking about. Or this decision that they, they're thinking about. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well. Yeah. It looks like somebody wants to get their strength back here, but they're unable to move on or move out or move away. This definitely could have been an abusive situation or someone's lying about wanting to commit. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords... Okay, somebody's slowly but surely getting out of their head... I forget who got this. I think Cancer got this as well. It doesn't matter. Yeah, someone's definitely getting out of their head about somebody's communication that is very ra uh, very harsh. Okay, very harsh and hurtful. This could be, you know, yikes. Some information that comes in that hurts someone. That really hurts someone that's going to get someone out of their head. This is incredible. Another sign had this as well. I forget who it was. Yeah, we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a decision here that someone needs to make about ending things or between two different people. Okay, somebody's definitely losing hope and faith in this decision. There could be depression here also. Um, court cases, legal cases, someone definitely needs to listen to their intuition, especially about money. Alright, sorry guys, we forgot to pull a Romance Angel card for Aries from now until May 1st. Wow, we have let go of control issues, allow this situation to unfold naturally. On the bottom we have deception. Someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship. Be very careful, guys. Aries. What does Aries need to surrender to? There we go. Surrender to trust. Cancer got this. Incredible. Doesn't have to be a Cancer, though. So it says, trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path on the bottom we have surrender denial accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions all right so let's get started for leo sorry guys did not mean to do that completely forget about Aries and their love cards. Alright, so Leo, what the hell is going on? These are my favorite cards and they got all wet, so... Um, Leo, 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 Leo. First off, what I see is a soulmate, okay? Or karmic connection, whatever you want to call it. I don't get into that stuff because I believe people should believe what they want. 
Um, but I always believe that soulmates or whatever type of people they are, they always come in and they teach us lessons. This is definitely a soulmate connection here where somebody is not seeing eye to eye with someone. Okay? Not at all. Um, you've got someone here that is... It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It's double, double error, Leo. Um, and this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you did not see the overall energy in the beginning, which I hope you guys did. This is someone who's got their back turned, okay? You could have your back turned towards someone or someone has their back turned towards you. Um, there's a lot of thunder, lightning in this card. Yeah. It's even like this little cut thing. I don't like it. Okay, this is a very, this can be a very domineering, very controlling, nasty person. And someone is not, not taking, and somebody's not taking this person's bullshit anymore. Done. Done. Or somebody really wants the truth from someone and someone has their back turned. Like, nope, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing this anymore. Or, Leo, you have cut someone off here, or they have you, vice versa. However it goes, or this could be someone around you who's, you know, very controlling, domineering, kind of in their head, too much in their head. I almost want to say, where's the passion? So let's clarify, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. From now until May 1st. It's all. Yeah. It's almost like. Nobody's taking action. Nobody's. There's no positive change. There's no positive. Movement forward. It's like you have your back turned. Or you know again. If this is about two different people. You know. You guys have your back turned towards each other. Or it's just like, you know, there's, this is not bringing me any progress. Like, there's no positive change. You're not changing. You know, so why should I put in the work here? Or someone has been a player. So let's see. Why is the Queen of Swords the overall energy for Leos from now until May 1st in love? Okay, too many. Why is the Queen of Swords the overall Ace of Cups? The first thing I wanted to say is someone needs to love themselves, okay? Or this is someone giving someone a second chance, but they need to come from a more loving place, for sure. Or somebody wants to find out the truth about someone's love, someone's emotions, here. Or what someone's done. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. What the hell, you guys? Wow. Because the Queen of Swords is very logical, very, I'm um, taking no bullshit, you know? But there's love here. There's emotion here. Needing to balance those. So let's see. Why is the King of Swords reversed for Leo's from now until May. It's crazy how they do that. Three, okay, three of pentacles. See, I don't like this card in this deck because, yeah, there could be a third party here. Or someone that tried to screw, screw something up. Someone could have even gotten hurt on the job as well. Okay. Or there has been progress with someone's controlling, domineering attitude. Okay. Someone may have had an attitude adjustment or someone will. Be very careful because this could be building on a third party relationship. Okay. Be very careful. We'll pull from the after tarot to make sure, but... Let's see. Yeah, someone's seeing the truth, okay? 
someone's seeing the truth, someone's getting out of their head, seeing clearly, and someone's going to end up heartbroken here. And you guys, I do not like this because for some of you, secrets are coming out about someone who's very controlling, very domineering, very nasty, and even abusive, whether it's emotional or physical. Like, this is insane. This could even be someone getting out of jail for some, not all. Oh, my Lanta. But secrets have been revealed. Okay, or somebody's explain expressed how they felt to you, Leo, or you've expressed how you felt to someone else. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but a lot of air. Somebody's very much in their head about love and about progress with someone who's very controlling and nasty or wanting progress and wanting to build with someone that they've cut off or turned their back on here. I don't like... And some of you, this is... I have to say it. Tell me about this um, King of Wands reverse for Leo's. And this is all tied in together. See, someone, someone's not taking that risk. They're not taking that leap of faith with a third-party situation. Mm-mm. Nope. Or somebody just doesn't want to commit in general. It's not what they want. Someone may be blocking communication if they haven't already. Could be with a female figure, mother figure, the empress, or with someone who's pregnant. Someone may want the truth about someone who's pregnant, a pregnancy here. Oh shit, something's gonna come to light, that's for damn sure. Leo energy, Aries, Leo Sag. Let's see, one more card please on this. Tell me about this three of pentacles for Leos. Two of Swords. Someone's very indecisive, okay? Like I said, somebody needs to balance their emotions, their emotions, and their logic. See how one is blue, one is red, okay? Balancing, seeing the truth of a situation. Someone's not making a decision possibly between two different people. Or someone's just not wanting to commit. Somebody may be ignoring someone here, Leo. Yeah, someone may be... Yeah, someone may cut someone off here. Is the Queen of Swords again. Reverse. Someone may be very bitchy. Very bitchy or just vindictive or jealous or just plain old pissed off. Maybe pissed off about a work situation or, you know, a third party situation or not. I don't know, man. Let's see. I gotta check out this Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here for Leo's? Look at that, how that flew like that. There may be a lot of fighting, a lot of conflict, okay? There needs to be teamwork working together here. It's like someone doesn't want to. Someone doesn't want to fight. Someone doesn't want to argue. Yeah, you guys may be walking away because you're not happy. I'm possibly focusing on your money here. Let's see, give me one... Okay, you guys, Jesus Christ. There's a lot of anxiety over an unhappy home. And it may be because of a businessman or a businesswoman or because somebody's just all about money or just not putting the time into an, a relationship. Somebody's way too focused on the past or someone from the past. Someone's holding on to pain and heartbreak from the past here. And they're missing, Leo, somebody's missing a commitment. Do 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. There's a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiousness. Let's see. Tell me about this Ace of Cups and this Queen of Swords. Someone needs to get over the past here. Someone's slowly but surely getting over the past. Someone needs to balance their emotions. This may be depression for some, Leo, not all. But somebody's healing, slowly. But somebody's all up in their head. Very, very much in their head about taking this leap of faith, about offering love because they've been so hurt. Yeah, there's love here, but somebody's just very, very, very much in their head. Um, this could even be someone in jail, like I said before, but it's not going to be for everyone. Damn, guys. Damn. All right, let's see. Best advice for Leos from now until May 1st. Okay, that went flying. We have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's love here, man. Woo! Yeah, new love. But finances and career, okay, may be an issue. Alright. You guys will know. Alrighty. Leo, if you want to watch your full video, it will be in the description box below. And I will be back with the next sign. Oh! Why do I keep doing that shit, you guys? I, like, want to rush, rush, rush. Why? Okay, what does Leo need to surrender? Okay. We have surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Mm-hmm. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. On the bottom, we have surrender to spirits. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. You guys have got love here for sure, but this is some crazy shit. <laughs> Alright, if you want to watch your full video, it'll be down in the description box. Much love, Leo. Take care. I'll be back with the next sign. Last but certainly not least, we've got Sagittarius. Alright, guys, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, Cross Watchers, um, if you did not see the beginning. So, we've got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, Sag. It looks like somebody has is not taking any bullshit. Someone may be in the process of healing, Sag. Male or female, it does not matter. Um, someone could definitely be healing from some type of betrayal, um, some type of ending that happened. Um, or, you know, somebody is just not taking any bullshit. They've been too hurt, and they're, you know, avoiding being hurt here. Okay? Either way, however it goes. But it definitely looks like someone just doesn't want to commit here. Or someone may have been a player. Or somebody just doesn't want to commit because they feel like, you know, it's just not what the universe wants for them right now. So, it's leaving someone feeling kind of stuck. Okay? Searching for some type of enlightenment here, almost. So, let's see, Sag. Yeah, someone could be examining something that ended. Yeah, I'm healing from it, but, you know, feeling a little bit scorned here. Let's see, why is the Queen of Swords the overall energy for Sagittarius? Six of Pentacles reverse in me. Five of Swords reverse, okay? There's definitely an Aries connection here. Wow. Someone doesn't want conflict anymore, okay? Conflict or mind games or manipulation or pettiness. Someone doesn't want that anymore. There is not an equal give and take situation here with someone, Sag. Not at all. 
especially financially. I do see, wow, I do see a relationship here. Someone may have taken someone back, for sure. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy as well, but it's just not an equal, equal give and take. There's no reciprocity or Sag, somebody's pissed here that they're not getting the money that they deserve, okay? Things are imbalanced. There needs to be a balance of you know, what, like I said in the beginning. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed for Sagittarius in love from now until May 1st? We have the Magician. Incredible, guys. Hot damn. So someone is healing, okay? Or someone dodged a bullet, dodged a betrayal, okay? But someone is manifesting something new, Sag, or going to be. Voila! Or somebody's recovering from a betrayal with an Aries sun, moon, or rising. Gemini or Virgo. Or air. Someone could be manipulating someone with money as well. Yeah, we've got Aries Leo Sagittarius also. Somebody's trying to manifest something here. Ooh la la. There may even be communication with someone new, Sag. If you are not communicating with them already. It definitely could be someone that uh, wants to give an apology to you or you want to give an apology to them. Woo. Alright, let's see. But be careful, okay? Be careful. Because this definitely could be someone who's greedy, takes credit for other people's work. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. This could be a player as well. Or this, you know, could just be someone that just doesn't want to commit. They don't want to commit. Money may be an issue. Someone may be stuck here. So let's see. After Tarot, why am I grabbing that deck? It's like I want to give you guys more information. Let's see. Sagittarius. Ace of Cups reverse just flew out. There needs to be self-love. You see there's a connection to Leo too. Yeah, there's indecisiveness as well. Okay. Secrets not coming out. Maybe somebody blocked someone and didn't want to be a part of a third party. That's what I'm seeing for some. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed with the Magician? Definitely a lot of money here, Sag. Yeah, look at... Wow. Someone's trying to manifest back something with someone from the past here. Okay. But it's going to get turned down or it's a false offer. Like, the work is not going to be equal. What the fuck? Somebody's going to be end up gonna end up walking away here. Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Or somebody who's going to be angry with someone's actions. Keep in mind this, you know, this may play out from now until May 1st, you know. Wow. Yeah, are you kidding me? Aries had this also, deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. Someone could be try manipulating someone and getting away with shit here. Especially financially. Like lying about a job or something from the past. And if you see in this card, 
Like there are three different people. On the bottom, we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. What is the best advice for Sagittarius or their partner? Wow, that did a flip. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Maybe this is someone from the past that you want to speak to or they want to speak to you. Someone needs to express their love here, express their emotions, or, you know. And then we have you deserve love. You are lovable. Look, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Something needs to be explained. For sure. Let's see. Sad real quick. King of Swords reversed. Okay, this is what Leo had. Someone could be very controlling, domineering. Just too much in their head. Very nasty with their words or somebody's just not opening up. Someone's too emotionally detached. Someone may find out the truth about a third party here. Okay, or somebody has too many negative memories from the past. In order to start a new relationship, they don't feel too good about themselves. Someone doesn't have enough confidence to start a new relationship here. They don't know. They're not sure. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Let's see. What needs to be expressed for Sagittarius? The Magician. Un- freaking believable whatever someone is manifesting or whatever somebody yeah whatever you somebody's trying to give back get back someone wants to commit to someone here that they've let go of and given up on in the past this could also be a job there's unhappiness here, though, and it could be because of a third party, or it could be because someone's self-confidence is shot. Okay, either way. This is incredible. Wow. But be careful. Okay, definitely may be f false here. Or someone may turn it down. Be very careful. All right, let's see. Surrender cards for Sag. What does Sagittarius or their partner need to surrender to in love, spirit? We have surrender, the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And on the bottom, we have surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the, te the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. We also have surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. Then we have surrender divi to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. And if you guys want to watch your full video, the link will be in the description box below for y'all. And I will see y'all later. Definitely like, share, subscribe, and take care. I love y'all. Much love.